you get mentioned in my name We don't like what you say. I don't give a fuck Y'all can suck my dick so I know a lot of people are going to find this part of the training useful because um, they're going to show you how I use my targeting. I make sure that I'm always targeting buyers, but I want to just quickly mention something because a lot of people really get hung up on targeting and they think their targeting is like the holy grail to finding a winner. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's not, right? So I've got here that finding a winning product is made up of three key components, right? So the first component is the most important component, right? And that is product selection, right? So that's why I had uh, long videos before on how to choose products, right? So this is by far the most important component of finding a winning product, right? So the second important component is the ad creative, right? So I've got a video on ad creatives in, in, this, in this training, so definitely go through that and pay attention to that because these two components here are really the most important part of finding a winning product, right? So the product selection is the most important followed by the ad creative. Then the last bit is the targeting, right? So I've got here, so these percentages here are what I think are the percentages of importance, right? So I think targeting plays about a 25% importance role in finding a winning product. And the reason I say that is because if you have an awesome product and an okay creative and your targeting is off, then you'll likely still be able and still make a lot of money off, off that product, right? And let's say the other way, right? Let's say see if you have an okay product, but like an awesome engaging like video ad and your targeting is off, it can still be a really, really profitable winner, okay? But the thing is, right, say if your product selection is, is average and your ad creative is average and your targeting is really good, no matter how good the targeting is, if you don't have these two components in sync and, and working well, targeting isn't going to matter, right? So just remember that your targeting, like it doesn't have to be a hundred percent perfect in order to scale a winner. And that brings me to my next point, right? Because as I said before, you can't get too focused on perfect targeting, right? If you're not be able to find winners, it's not always because um, you can't find the perfect audience, right? There isn't that, that perfect audience doesn't exist, right? It's, it's the product and it's the ad creative that makes the prospect want to buy, right? So I've got here that your aim with initial targeting, right? So cold targeting at the start is to build up enough pixel data so you can create strong lookalike audiences that you can scale into, right? So that means initially, if your targeting is off a little bit, that's okay because you're building pixel data and you're building pixel fires on your, on your purchase conversion event, right? So that we can make lookalike audiences from the purchase conversion event, from the add to cart conversion event, and from the, the view content conversion event, right? So your, ta your, your targeting that you choose in the start is never ever going to be as good as a matured lookalike audience based off that product, right? So like that's why I say that like your targeting at the start doesn't have to be perfect, right? Because you're feeding the pixel data and you're giving it um, you're giving it event fires, right? On the add to cart event, on the purchase event, right? So then you can create lookalikes based off those events that will be much, much better 99% of the time than your initial targeting, right? So all the majority of the scaling will take place in your lookalike audiences that you build, right? And that's where most of the money you'll make, right? So don't get too hung up about the perfect audience to target.